right guys, it is Jay Test ASMR here. Um, I'm doing um, a request today. Um, somebody was asking about. Um, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh, someone was asking for a gum chewing um, football video. Um, I'm going to be chewing it with some gum. I know this is not everyone's cup of tea, and I do apologise. I do have other videos on my channel. If this is not what you're interested in, I've got uh, my last bit of um, bubble yum. Pardon the hair. actually um, they asked if I could um, do it with a microphone I've got one of them earpieces you know that's got a mic lost it don't know where it is so, so I'm afraid it's just this at the moment I'm trying to sort this camera out a bit that's it. So, football ramble. Well, any of you that follow English football will know that my team Charlton relegated last season from the championship back to league one don't want to talk about that because if Sheffield Wednesday had their deduction of points like Wigan had their deduction of points we would still be in the championship Brentford would have done their job claiming as good as they are and beat Barnsley and Blackburn didn't let Luton run all over them we would still be in the championship now some people will say yeah but they test you can't depend on other things you can't depend on other teams no you can't However, that would be the truth. If the points had been deducted from Sheffield Wednesday when they should have been, and Luton and Barnsley you know, carried on being shit like they had been the whole season, we wouldn't have, got, wouldn't have got been relegated. Simple as that. tonight against Brighton and uh, Brighton and Hove under 21s problem with that being it was only an EFL trophy uh, game we need points on the table well, since the start of the re-season or sorry the season new season we played three times we've won one we've lost two We've now been bought out by um, a guy called Thomas Sandegard. Is it Sandegard or Sandegard, something like that? So, our manager Lee Boa and Charlton fans, our uh, Charlton players, can't even use that as an excuse anymore. We've got a new owner. The money starting to come in, we're fine. But God Almighty, we really need to pull our 
nothing is out. Villa are getting new people in. Fulham are going to get new people in. Why can't we? We need to get people in who want to play as Charlton, not just a, a bunch of wet rags. So, number one, Charlton need to at least draw a couple of matches, not lose, lose, lose. Ain't gonna work. Uh, second bit of news. Um, it's a sad day for the, the uh, football world. Um, we lost Macclesfield Football Club. Um, I've been expelled from the National League. Just like Barry. Now, I can understand why. Because there was over £500,000 in debt. How the hell did that happen? Um, because originally Macclesfield won the National League, got promoted to League Two, couldn't handle it in League Two, got relegated back to the National League. But because of their horrific debts, um, they've been expelled from the National League and they won't be uh, returning anytime soon. So Just another sad day um, for football. I mean, they've been expelled from the National League. The situation has got so dire, I don't even think they'll be allowed in the National League North because their debts and stuff, their uh, um, players. Um, stadium staff, the whole lot. It just finished completely. I heard that this happened to um, Manchester United. I think it was 1992 or something like that. Um, it wasn't called Manchester United at the time. Yeah, they, they're called Manchester United now. But even they got relegated from the National League to the National League South. Unfortunately, um, that seems to be the right league for them. They they, they, um, they finished the season last last season. I think it was nine wins, one draw, nine losses. So, and I think they finished ninth or tenth. So. In the top 10, but that's one of the lowest leagues you can have. So, um, um, I feel sorry for Macclesfield, but where the decision's been made, it's been made. It's a sad day, though, for football. Very sad day. Aston Villa have got off to um, a better start than they did last season. They've um, played twice. They've won twice. Um, you know, the other day they wiped over Fulham 3-0. Um, so I'm glad that they're, you know, hopefully they've sorted these things out. Fulham, however... Um, they're getting more players in. So there's cars outside. Um, for them, they are meant to be getting some players in, but because of um, they haven't been able to do it. Um, but they are going to get some in. 
um, um, an amazing result the other day um, was Leicester and Man City. Leicester won so no 5 2. That's terrible. So I'd be by to um I suppose that for a minute. Noisy bastards outside. So yeah, what I was saying, um Leicester with a five nil win over uh, Man City's crazy. I mean although three of them were penalties, I think. Um I still had a result for Leicester. I mean, what was Man City thinking? Um So, um, Sheffield United at the bottom, Fulham at the bottom, um, although West Ham, I think, are saying like 11 for 12 in the table, I think they're going to still struggle. It's a little bit too early to predict who's going to get relegated, who's going to win. Uh, although I'm putting my money back on Liverpool. Uh, it's likely that Sheffield Wednesday will eventually, after this season, go back to League One. They started with a minus 12 point deduction. Uh, they've won one of their games and they've drawn their other game so uh, they're at minus eight at the moment so really they're gonna have to win their next three games to effectively get onto the board uh, I go down there with the likes of like um, the south end injection or they need 
some players that are willing to do the job. And that's the only thing you can really say. Okay guys, well thanks for joining me for this uh, come chewing in and um, football ramble. Um, I don't do too many of them because I know some of my subscribers are either not into football or they're abroad and they don't really um, follow football or they're American or from Germany or something like that so they don't really follow um, English football too much but I know there are quite a few subscribers who like it as well so I thought I'd give you a treat <laughs> so uh, yeah okay guys well I think for joining me um, and like I always say, look after yourselves, um, look after friends, family, um, and I will see you next time with a, another video. So, ciao for now.